I decided this week that I was going to become uh, racist towards Irish people. Because I, I really think... Go to hell! Well, that's Nick O'Brien, you jackass. See? Yeah, no, I mean, I just feel that, that that was a good racism that kind of left, you know, after the turn of the century. You know, it was like everybody hated the Italians and, and the Irish. And then, you know, that went away when we got, like, more colorful people. Like my people, you know. I'm Hispanic, by the way. I know everybody thinks that I'm, I must be like a white guy with a big mustache. But <laughs> don't. You're the third person today, by the way. There's all. There's other great Italian men with uh, mustaches. Um, Smaller, right there. No, he was. He was, he was Russian. Who was that? Mussolini. That's it. That's <laughs> that was that was a great Italian mustache. I dare say better than Mario's mustache. You a liar. <laughs> Mussolini had the fuck out of a mustache. <laughs> Historical battle ensues. I'm gonna do a song about being an asshole. Yeah. yeah. It's autobiographical. You can sing along if you know any Barnstormer songs. This song's called Misery. It's about being happy. <laughs> Don't ask me what's wrong. We both know I lie. Tell you nothing. I'm gone. As you calculate how you'll fix me My friend, there's a doctor deep inside That I hope you never know If you can, you'll let it go Death is the jester in the dance hall of my school While the devil whispers lullaby The dark smiles on us all And we'll dance and we'll smile And we'll laugh and we'll sing when misery is king So close the door behind you and turn out the light Leave me here, I'm a back for the rest of the night By the morning I'll be fine, I'll be better You'll see, you'll get the best of me I'm in good company And we'll sing when misery is king. Usually, I say something really clever in that part. It's it's actually on the notes. Say clever things there. But I'm punk rock. I don't have to do anything. I'm in good company. <laughs> Making Alex as uncomfortable as I can Cause I have no other way to say how fat you really are <laughs> And you're going to the Philippines I'm in good company Just me and my misery And I'll laugh And I'll cry And I'll laugh And I'll sing When misery I'm gonna play the song that I ripped off to write that one. I, Albert Einstein said uh, the secret to genius is uh, never revealing your sources. I just quoted Albert Einstein. Screwed that one up. I'm gonna go back and try that one again. The secret to genius is never revealing your sources.
Before punk rock, there was music, um, and I know some of you guys probably don't believe that. Uh, some of that music was called blues, and some of it was country. Some of it was both. And uh, so I'm gonna do a Johnny Cash song. And I want y'all to sing along, kill him. I'm about to turn my volume up. <laughs> There's not a knob there. That's what she said. Whoa! <laughs> That's the longest running joke I've in my life. Lance and I met probably almost nine years ago. We were we were using the that's what she said. Um, nothing has changed. I've gotten fatter, he's gotten bolder. And that is what she said. <laughs> who earlier collected your money. Your mom, who will be looking. Church can be awkward sometimes. Yeah. Try church on Sand Mountain. They handle snakes up there. And there was no that what she said on that one. No that. Snakes. Snakes. It's, it's a phallic metaphor. Let's use it. <laughs> Don't get it. Explain <laughs> further. Actually, the uh, Aborigines uh, actually taught their children as a rite of passage that uh, a great snake would eat their uh, foreskins and that would turn them into men. Hello. That's true. That is totally true. <laughs> That's like the worst thing to tell your children ever. That's why they came up with boomerangs. 
How do you yeah. come up with a weapon that seriously is a stick that curves? It will knock the fuck out of kangaroos. <laughs> a truer statement has never been said. <laughs> When your religion is based on a snake that eats parts of your dick, you will come up with the weirdest weapons in the world. That's all I have to say about that. When you're American, on the other hand, you just come up with things like nuclear missiles. You know, you know just everything else, blow it up, America. Hell yeah. All right. Damn, I don't have a good segue into this song. <laughs> this is actually like the most emotional song I have. Here's the song. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm taking Haggis on the road with me. He'll just talk for me. Actually, uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, I went through a really shitty part of my life, which put me in a place where I decided I was not going to be on the road forever. And um, had a bunch of people in my family die and all that good stuff. Uh, the most difficult one of those was losing my mom. And I uh, had the opportunity to play this song on the radio one night. And uh, just weeks before she passed away, she was able to hear it. So. Uh, I actually have not played this song in over four years, so we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna die Where angels never fly Where the devil doesn't roam And no man's come is a wall I'll fly away on that coming day oh Jordan Shore oh this killing